The dog was alone! It was alone and it was hungry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny McGovern, and this is That's Personal. My favorite toy as a child was a toy that many people in my age group lusted after, but that I actually got. And honey, I'm talking about the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. Okay, mic drop. Okay, windows shattered, all right? People are running screaming hearing that I had it. I did. It was six feet long, okay? And it was huge. You could play in inside, the outside. I got the ship and the thing. Look, did I really do much with it? No, but it looked fantastic. It was gigantic. It was the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier, okay? Everybody else just stood at Toys R Us with their face pressed against the window looking at it. And honey, I got it. I had it, I you don't, sorry, sorry, I had it. And it was fabulous. I had all the little G.I. Joe's each other in the, the bunks. Looks I'm gay. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm a gigantic hairy monster and I kind of like the opposite of that. I like someone who's leaner, smaller, littler waist, littler features, more delicate type of person. So a size difference is, is what I enjoy. And an age difference. Because I'm old, very, very old. But I have a youthful spirit. Fellas, what's up? Looking for a dad? He's here. Right here. Okay, that was creepy. Let's move on. Oh, to be stuck on a deserted island. You know, you could go sexual with this, but instead, I will choose the ghost of B. Arthur. Honey, we, I would make sure we had cheesecake. We would sit at the table. We'd pretend that a coconut and a palm tree was Rose and Blanche. But really, if you want to live your Golden Girls fantasy, you need B. Arthur. So I'd have the, the ghost of B. Arthur since she's passed. And we would chat and we'd say, Ma, we need cheesecake. And we'd talk about Shady Pies. And we'd talk about Stan. And we like, wasn't Stan a shit. Yeah, remember you dated that substitute teacher? Oh, we do. Chattanooga Choo Choo. I mean, this is really the move that I'll always remember from B. Arthur is during the dance marathon, she did the little do 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 and I can be at a 5 a.m. circuit party and honey, I will waggle my finger like I was Dorothy Zabornak. So yeah, B. Arthur, the ghost of. My unhealthiest guilty pleasure came about in the pandemic because I've always loved movie theater popcorn and I was craving it. And so I went online and did all the research to find out how to make the exact movie theater popcorn. And honey, that is not good for you because you gotta, you gotta, you put the popcorn seeds in and that's where the health ends. Then you gotta put butter flavored oil, okay? The oil isn't fatty enough for this. It's gotta be butter flavored oil and it's orange color and you gotta put it all over the seeds. And then you get a special salt called like sepacol or something. And that is also bright orange. You put that all over the seeds, okay? And then it pop, 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 pop. And suddenly it's the yellow popcorn from the movies. And what do you do? Cause you're a true fatty. You put more of that butter oil on top and more of the salt and then mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Then you eat it. Then you for a couple days, but you're good. After I am long gone from this world, I hope that people will remember that I brought queer joy to the world and to other queer people of all types. Yeah, I hope that generations past can look at all my work and be like, that was Gay, so gay, yes! Legacy. Oh my God, my most embarrassing moments. I mean, 
let's just keep it 100% real. Way back in the day, I thought about this recently and I said, how did you not crawl under a table and die? Early in my career, when I was I was known for my music video, Soccer Practice, where I sang a song about gay guys humping each other on the soccer field, and I got called in to audition for the musical Rosie O'Donnell was producing about Lee Bowery, okay? And I went into that audition to sing the song that they'd given you the tape for. They said, you can sing your own song, or you can sing this song. And I said, oh, I'm sure I can just throw this together. I will sing this, I will do it. Oh, I'm, I can't wait to get this role. Honey, I was there with the paper, singing this very non-musical or easy breezy type of song, uh, badly, uh, incorrectly, and uh, with no presence. And they <laughs> looked at me and were like, did you get here? And I said to myself, how the did I get here? And I said, thank you. That's something I'm, I'm not used to that. And I'm, damn, thank you. Needless to say, I did not get the role. I mean, I'm not afraid to shed a tear, sweetie. I mean, to be honest, it was probably watching a TikTok about baby animals that were rescued. Who <laughs> now live a nice life. <laughs> the dog was alone. It was alone and it was hungry. And it met the nice tourists and they said, this dog is so nice. And they said, we're gonna give him a forever home. <laughs> Swipe, another one. That bunny was alone and now it's a cute bunny with a home. Oh my God. An animal video will get me to shed a tear. Honey, I'll cry at a commercial. We're performers, you know, we just shove it down. We shove all the emotions down. So when you see something cute, you can cry. I can cry right now. I'm crying! Who are my heroes? Well, I mean, different types of heroes. Personally, it would be my dad. Uh, he has been an incredible father. He's somebody who taught me how to treat other people, how to be a father, though I don't have children. I have, I am a daddy to many, um, uh, and taught me how to be a, a good person and how to treat people. Uh, heroes professionally are some of our most problematic stars. Wendy Williams, no one's ever done it better than Wendy. We're sorry about what she's going through now, but when Wendy was in front of that camera talking to the audience, nobody's done it better. RuPaul, honey, RuPaul is a very inspirational figure, someone who did their own thing and then built an empire that encompassed so many other people and gave so many other people careers, including me. So. Thank you, Wendy Williams, RuPaul, and Dad. What a trio. My dad would be like, this, this is pretty great. Great wigs, great wigs. I am afraid of the monster that lives in the closet. Where if you have the door open just a crack while you're sleeping, the monster will slide out of the closet and slurp over to your bed and rip your brains out. Honey, I read a Stephen King story many years ago called The Boogeyman about the creature that lived in the closet. And from then on, do not have that closet door open, even a crack. I have a very overactive imagination and I can definitely think that the devil, demon, monster, all the rest are coming for me right out of the crack in the closet. So we're not doing that. Lock the closet, push something up against it. We are not leaving the closet door open. <clears throat> in more ways than one, wow! Yes, baby, as Blanche Devereaux says, yes, why many times? Why many, many, many times? No, not that many, but I definitely have been in love multiple times. I, mean, I love love. I love making love. 
making love to hot, man, hot, hot and sweaty, hot and sweaty and juicy, hot, sweaty, juicy and tight, hot, sweaty, juicy and tight, and loving, loving, hot, sweaty, juicy. Oh, please hand me a glass of water, please. Thank you, that was my Blanche Devereaux impression, and yes, I've been in love but I'm looking for love right now. So send your applications to I'm a good boy at johnnymcgovern.org. <laughs> no, I need a daddy at johnnymcgovern.org. That's where you can send it to. <clears throat> well, that was inappropriate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe the Out TV YouTube channel and check out all the mega gay, queer, LGBT offerings right there. See you later. Let's be nice to me in the comments, okay? Thank you.